Tyler is extremely entertaining, so make sure that there's enough room for the audience to roll around in the aisles and bust the guts, because Tyler is going to make them laugh. In fact, one client recently commented, quote, at future events you might consider issuing a choking hazard in advance, since one of our guests laughed so hard she did just that. She has since recovered and is singing your praises, although in a rather hoarse voice, unquote. You too will experience Tyler's clean and appropriate approach to humor that'll keep your group uncontrollably laughing too. We're sitting around and I look at my buddy Andrew and I'm like, man Andrew, I'm hmm? so bored. He says, yeah, man, me too. He said, well, let's do something. I said, let, let, let's do something today. He says, well, he says, what do you want to do? I said, I, I don't know. I said, we've always talked about skydiving. I said, you want to go do that? He goes, hey, yeah, giddy up. So we hop into my truck, right? We start hammering down the road. We are jacked up and we are excited, right? We're grooving down the road. We're flying and, until all of a sudden my buddy Andrew kind of looks at me and goes, Tyler. And I'm like, yeah, AD. He says, um, what happens if we jump out of the airplane and we hit a building? I was like, ouch. So we walk over to the airplane. He wants to show us his airplane. It's a 1956 Cessna. It's the best one in his fleet. 56. I was born in 74, right? So I'm looking at this plane. He says, he says it's in great condition. He said, there's only one problem with it. The door you jump out of, it fell off. But he says, don't worry, you're jumping out anyway. I'm like, yeah. Next thing, they bring over my brain bucket, my helmet, CCM. <laughs> Floor hockey in the sky, I guess. The last thing they gave me was my communications device, a Fisher Price walkie talkie. I'm the last one to jump. Jump Master turns, looks at me, he goes, You, he says. And I realize I have one of two ways that I can go. Either the way my best buddy Andrew went, you know, like a, like a football, right? Or, or the way the wild crazed fool went. And he looks at me, he goes, You, he says. I look at him, I go, Woo! And he looks at me, he goes, Woo! I go, Woo! I go, Woo! I go, Woo! I go, Woo! I crawl over where the door's supposed to be, right? I get into position, jump out, and he goes, Are you ready? And I look at him, I go, Woo! And with that, he looks at me, he goes, Now! And I went, Woo! And with that, I take off out of the airplane. Now, falling at 125 miles an hour, right? 125 miles an hour. And when I went, I got down to the ground, obviously I survived. <laughs> Couldn't get any worse looking than this, right? <laughs> When I got down to the ground, the jump master looks at me, he kind of flinches when he talks. He goes, Tyler, he says, i got to tell you. He says, that was the most beautiful jump I've ever seen a first-time jumper make. He says, you were so limp, you were so loose. He says, you were flying like an eagle. And I'm like, yeah, no doubt I passed out. Now, if you're looking for a stuffed shirt and a quick nap, Tyler's definitely not your guy. His shows are innovative, fast-paced, and interactive. And we don't mean flashy PowerPoints. We mean flying rubber chickens, new sports cars, and exploding rubber gloves. Tyler is committed to engaging his audience and helping to create memorable speaking experiences. In fact, your people are often the stars of the show. Here we go. And he started with stomping of his feet, just like this. Do that. You can do that. Up high on the knees. Nice. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. It's important with the high knees. Give him a round of applause. You can make There it is. I start snapping your fingers just like this. I didn't know what I was doing. Snap your fingers. Perfect. When Tyler speaks, his power is in his ability to create for his audience a truly authentic experience. People walk away feeling as though they know Tyler and have just engaged in an uplifting discussion with him. Tyler's on and off platform approachability and engaging personality is second to none. Tyler is not a reasonably hand-drawn facsimile, but rather he is the real thing. He truly believes what he says and lives his messages. I'm sure you'll agree that Tyler is the real deal, an honest person who speaks the truth, whatever the truth may be. I wear glasses, I'm a four eyes. You know, or, or, or when I was growing up, they used to call me Tubba Lard because I was, I was husky, as my mother called it, you know, or, or shut up. And uh, I actually got a bra when I was in grade three, a training bra. Shut up. And um, other things, you know, I'm a survivor of sexual abuse. I was sexually abused growing up. Or, or the fact I, 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 I have ADHD. And the poster child. And, uh, you know, and, 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 and all these things, right? All these things that happened to us. I failed my driver's test. Twice. In fact, I've never passed the written portion. We don't have to carry these problems around with us, you know. We don't have to let them hold us down, you see. Because each one of these problems that happened to us in our lives 
are really opportunities for growth, opportunities to learn, opportunities to become stronger. That's why I don't believe in actually getting rid of them, but rather rewriting them. Once you rewrite them, you can put them on the shelf. Because instead of taking and looking at these things as problems that are going to hold you down, you flip them around and you make them into these powerful executive summaries. These summaries that help to drive you further. They help to drive you into great success. Because you can achieve anything you aspire to achieve. It's a matter of taking the time to either A, not pick up any more books. Because we're going to be given a ton more books, a ton more issues. Why don't you start by turning those into executive summaries? And then start working on the ones that you have from before and making those into powerful executive summaries. There is a reason why Tyler brings a couple of changes of clothes and requires several liters of water for each presentation. He is wildly passionate about inspiring your group with top quality content delivered in a powerful punch. Once you experience the energy and enthusiasm that Tyler has, you too will want nothing else than to live life large.